You might have seen the first person stabilizer video we did back in May of 2022. Essentially what this part of our live application does is stabilize the footage of your VR game. Some viewers get nauseated when they watch their favorite creator play VR games because of its high sensitivity to shaking. Hello, my name is Saul and we'll be going over the first person stabilizer feature and how you can customize it for your content creation needs. And before going any further, I want to mention that the first person stabilizer works with any open VR game as long as there's no anti-cheat. Some examples of games that can be used with the first person stabilizer Stabilizer are Contractors, Skyrim VR, and Half-Life Alex. Another thing that's great about the Stabilizer is the resource cost is minor compared to SteamVR View. And with that being said, let's dive in. To launch the First Person Stabilizer, open the Live app from Steam, then select the First Person Stabilizer option on the left panel, then click a big green button saying Launch First Person Stabilizer. Then the VIVR.exe window will pop up. To access the Live menu for the First Person Stabilizer, you do have to open the SteamVR dashboard, then select the Live icon on the bottom left of the dashboard. Within the headset, you'll be given several features to adjust. At the top right of the stabilizer UI, you have smoothing presets, low, medium, and high, and selecting custom will enable you, if you wanted to, to adjust the settings to your liking, using the sliders for the zoom, which is essentially your field of view, and the smoothing being the amount of stabilization for the footage. On the top left is an option for your dominant eye. This will record the selected eye primarily. So if you're left eye dominant, select left eye because, well, if you're in a shooter game, you want to see out of your left eye. At the bottom left of the panel, there's four options. One is lock roll, which inhibits the camera from turning on the horizontal axis, blur background, and when this is disabled, your field of view is large, you'll have black edges. You can also see these edges if you move fast despite having the perfect zoom. And three is combine eyes. It's self-explanatory. It will add both eyes to the capture, but still using the selected dominant eye as a primary source. And lastly, fix gamma. Fix gamma is used for rare cases. It's used to fix your capture if the game is looking too dark or if it just seems off in the capture and it just brings it back to normal. In the lower right of the UI it gives you options to select the output resolution. Clicking one will automatically adjust the window size. However, if you notice the window is not full screen, double click the window and that should fix your unfull issues. You can manually resize the window to set a custom resolution. And above the resolution options, you have three options for the shape of the window. One being the traditional landscape, which is a 16 by nine ratio, which would be primarily used for full video like this one. Square is a 1 by 1 ratio, which is best suited for Instagram, and Portrait is a 9 by 16 ratio, which is best suited for TikToks, YT Shorts, or Facebook and Instagram Reels. Now, I wanted to briefly speak about what won't work with the first person stabilizer, because there are a few things that sadly won't work. And as I stated before in the beginning of the video, games with anti-cheat will not work. A prime example is Onward, Pavlov, and VRChat. OpenXR games will also not work with our stabilizer like Bone Lab and Boneworks. However, there are mods from our very own Raid Kuparada that enable some of the live features, but not the stabilizer. This also will not work with avatars and mixed reality capture features because the stabilizer and those capture features use the same executable. VR.exe, so you cannot use them at the same time, unfortunately. Now, adding the first person stabilizer to your broadcasting software, such as OBS, is quite easy. When adding a source to your scene, you'll want to use the game capture and select the window titled first person stabilizer or the VIVR.exe. You can also allow transparency in case you don't want the blur background option within the UI. It'll show whatever's behind the output where the black edges would be. I hope this could clear up and help you with a quick setup of Liv's first person stabilizer. If you have any suggestions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section. Now, if you're interested in what games have live mixed reality and avatar support, check the link in the description or go to live.tv slash games. We're always finding games to implement our SDK. If you have any suggestions, be sure to leave a comment down below, or if you have any questions as a content creator or developer, comment them as well. Feel free to hop into our community discord and chat with us and your fellow creators. And with that, Live wishes you well. We'll be creating more informative videos regarding Live in the future. In the meantime, you can select one of these two videos here to learn more about Live or our avatars feature. Take care and live on creators.